Yes, thank you, Lord. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. Salamat sa Diyos na buhay. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Good evening po sa ating lahat. We welcome you sa ating OPM online prayer meeting Mondays to Fridays 7 hanggang 8. Ako si Pastor Roban ng Jesus Coffee Church. Mapagpalang gabi sa ating lahat. Thank you Lord. Salamat sa Diyos na buhay. Habang hinihintay natin, lumabas yung live natin. Mag-comment tayo dyan ng new blessing. Kung kayo po ay first time na maka-join, welcome na welcome kayo mga patid. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lord. Ganun din sa ating digital evangelism. Sabay-sabay ang pag-share. Pakishare nga, kapatid. Para makita na natin, no? Yan. Thank you, Lord. Dahil bago ang ating page, keep on sharing, keep on tagging. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Shout out sa inyong family, laging maaga, Sister Lola and Sister Ruth. Good evening kay Brother Richmond Cuenca. God bless sa ating mga kapatid. Tuloy lang tayo sa pagbabahagi. Share lang natin na. Share. Ayan, share na na. Yes, praise the Lord. Hello sa iyo, Sister Sherry and Brother Randy. Good evening, good evening. Samahan nyo kami, magpe-pray na tayo. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Good evening po sa inyo dyan, Sister Marvit Laguardia. Shout sa mga kapatid natin sa J. Coffee, please. Kay Sister Mar, Sir Basho. Ayan, kita kita tayo sa Sunday. Let us join. Let's join in a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Walang BGM. Baguhin nyo nga po kami ng iyong espiritu. 
patuloy kami na maging tulad ng aming Panginoon Jesus. Salamat Lord, tonight we are expecting, expecting you to move in our lives, to change us, transform us. At ganun din Lord, to answer our prayers according to your will, Lord. Hayaan niyo po ang kapangyarihan niyo ay madama, maranasan namin lahat sa pagpapahayag namin this 2023 year of beyond borders. Salamat po, Panginoon. At ang mga awiting ito, Lord, ay para papurihan ka. Salamat, Lord, at alam namin na nananahan ka sa aming mga papuri. Kaya, Lord, we are welcoming ng kaaway, distraction, delay, disturbances, deception, in the name of Jesus. Kami po ay lukuban mo ng iyong pananad. May pahayag ang salita mo na may kapangyarihan sa pangalan ng Jesus. praise and worship awitin natin yung Salmo 91 yun ang awitin yun sa, oh, sa ating comment section pakicomment from our media team huwag lang tayo manood makinig sumabay tayo sa pagpupuri ayan, sino bang nandiyan? Ninang Helen Escobar good evening sa inyo dyan kay Ninong Zoilo hello sa inyo po Sister Rita Kalahat God bless you God bless you Abelino, good evening Sister Neri Monson, good evening then kay Sister D. Johans Sis Novi, Sis Mira good evening, Brother Yuri Ayan. Sister Cheda Divas God bless you kapatid Ayan. Praise the Lord Okay, magpuri tayo sa Panginoon Ayan na yung Salmo 91 Thank you Lord
Sabitag ng masama Kasama mo'y mga anghel Saan man magpunta Iingatan ka Sa kalinga niya Ang ganyang natapat Ay baluti pa lang ka Ililigtas ka niya Sabitag ng masama Kasama mo'y mga anghel Saan ba magpunta? Pag-sapit ng gabi, hindi ka matatakot sa anong bagay. Maging sa gabi, bigla, pag-usog ng kahawal. Kahit kasamaan man ang dumating, hindi ka matatakot. Kahit nagluwal man sa iyong hapan, ang sanggitong tao. Sa iyong palikot ang binang ng mga putay, maging sa pulido. Hindi ka matatakot, napipiyak ko, hindi ka maaano. Isang ribo man lang mabuwal. Sampung ribu man sa iyong harapan Di matatakot Di ka maaano Kadiliman na ay lumusog man Kaligtasan niya ay kailan pa man Di matatakot Di ka maaano Isang ribu man lang mabuwal Sampung ribu man sa iyong harapan Di matatakot Ika maaano Kadiliman na ilumusog man Kalitasan niya ay kailan ka man Di matatakot Ika maaano Iingatan ka Sa kalinga niya Ang kanyang katapat ay malutit pa ng ga Sa bitag ng masama Kasama mo'y mga anghel Saan man magpunta Iingatan ka Sa kalinga niya Ang kanyang katapat Ay maluti pa ng ga Ililigtas ka niya Sa bitag ng masama Kasama mo'y mga anghel Saan man magpunta Kasama mo'y mga anghel Saan man magpunta Kasama mo'y mga anghel Saan man magpunta Pinabantayan tayo, sinasamahan, saan man tayo magpunta. Good evening. Check, one, two. Good evening and hello sa ating mga kapatid. Welcome sa ating OPM Online Prayer Meeting, Monday to Friday, 7 hanggang 8. Ako si Pastor Ruban ng Jesus Coffee. Kakatapos lang natin na umawit ang pamagat ng ating awitin is Salmo 91. Mapapakinggan niya sa ating YouTube channel. Pakilike and follow yung ating mga platforms sa social media. At puli ng Panginoon para lagi tayo updated sa mga gawain. No? Thank you, Lord. Good evening sa inyo dyan, Sister Chem, Brother Francis. Kung kayo ay first time, comment lang ng new blessing. Shoutout kay Tita Ami Casimiro, Sister Montoya Michelle, Sis Jos Nogoy. Good evening sa inyo. Praise the Lord. Kay Gail, Kay Go, God bless you. Daddy Steve Reynolds, good evening. Mami Bay, si Shan, si Mana, God bless you, kapatid. Pinabati rin natin si Tita Estela Ortiz at Mami Adi. Praise the Lord. Sister Andrasha and Gurli Omori, mga pagpalang gabi. Kay Brother Jonar at si Sweeney, tayo ay magko-comfy break muna. Standby lang tayo. Salamat sa Panginoon. Dagdag kalaman. Matutuklasan dito sa Comfy Break. That's a good idea! Presented by OOPM Online Prayer Prayer Meeting.
Yes, thank you Lord para sa ating comfy break Psalm of the day. Tayo po ay sabay-sabay na magbasa ng Bible. Basahin niyo yung Psalm 148. Ang sabi dito sa verse 5, Let every created thing give praise to the Lord for He issued His command and they came into being. Lahat daw po ng nilikha ng Diyos. Alam mo, pag binasa mo dyan, Binanggit yung mga creation ng Diyos, the stars, the sun, the moon, the oceans. Lahat ng ito ay nagpupuri sa Diyos. So tayo pang mga tao, ano pa kaya yung dahilan natin? Para hindi magpuri sa Panginoon. Sabi niya, let every created thing give praise. Sapagkat tayo ay nilikha ng Panginoon. Kaya doon pa lang sa dahilan ng pagkalikha niya sa atin, pinili niya na tayo ay humihinga ngayon, na tayo bigyan ng buhay, kapatid, meron kang dahilan para magpuri sa Panginoon. Kaya alam nyo, isang paraan ng pagpupuri sa Diyos, itong mga awit. Ayan. Kaya yung psalm, puro awit yan. Eh. Kaya yung mga awitin natin sa Panginoon, napakaganda na araw-araw nagpupuri tayo sa Kanya sa mga awitin. That's a good idea! Presented by OOPM Online Prayer Meeting. Lord, sa ating uh, coffee break. We praise the Lord. Matatapos na, dalawang araw na lang. And this week, no, tapos na yan uh, sa 150. So congratulations kasi nakakapagpasa na tayo ng Bible. Salamat sa Diyos. Ayan. Good evening sa inyo, Sister Yeye, Brother Mike, kay Kita Nida, Sister Arlene Vinson. Good evening. Patuloy na tayo sa patungo na tayo sa Word of God. Kuha tayo ng Bible. Buksan natin sa Isaiah chapter 45. Ayan, Isaiah 45 verse 9 hanggang 10. Ayan, thank you Lord. Salamat. At salamat din sa ating uh, Jesus Coffee Church Cavite Media. Pinapost dyan yung mga Bible verses natin. Kaya sa ating comment section makikita nyo rin dyan. Good evening sa iyo, Kuya Yuma, Brother Yuge, and Sister Maricel. God bless you. Masahin na natin ang salita ng Diyos. Announcement, mga kapatid, sa darating na Sunday. Ayan, ngayong Sunday po, June 4. Kita-kita tayo. Register your friends and family para sa ating physical gathering. Sama-sama na naman tayo. Magpapasalamat, magpupuri, mag-aawitan. Talaga naman ito ay isang napakagandang uh, uh, pagkakataon. Uh, let's take the opportunity na meron tayong uh, mag-gathering na ganito. Kaya kita-kita po tayo sa Sunday sa Buda Tari Bakor. Ayan, salamat sa Panginoon. At sa mga susunod pa nating uh, events and dates, pagdating naman ng June 11 online, pero meron tayong family day. Ayan, para bang sports fest natin ito eh, every year, di ba? So mag-register na kayo sa inyong mga cell group leaders, sa mga ministry leaders, sabihin nyo na kung mag-join kayo, ayan, sa June 11. At pagdating naman po ng next week, next Monday naman, June 19, ayan, hanggang 23, ito na yung ating prayer and fasting week. Ayan, mid-year prayer and fasting. Itong OPM natin special, makakasama natin yung mga kapatid natin naglilingkod din. Kaya puri ng Diyos, ganda na natin ang ating sarili, yung ating katawan sa paglilingkod. Ang daming pagkakabalahan sa Panginoon. And uh, proceed na tayo sa Word of God. Ayan, sa Isaiah 45 verse 9 to 10 sa New Living Translation, babasahin na. Sabi niya sa verse 9, What sorrow awaits? those who argue with their creator? Does a clay pot argue with its maker? Does the clay dispute with the one who shapes it, saying, Stop! You're doing it wrong! Does the pot exclaim, How clumsy can you be? Verse 10, How terrible it would be if a newborn baby said to its father, Why I was born? Or if it said to its mother, Why did you make me this way. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa pagbasa ng salita. Thank you for 
this opportunity that we can gather even online we know that you are in the midst of us that's why we ask of your presence that you will speak to us and through us by the power of your holy spirit let us receive the truth of god's word and let it be our life and truly lord we will see change and our life will be transformed to be more and more like jesus christ our lord Maraming salamat, Lord. We ask you to, to speak to us, to tell us the things that we need to do. Correct us, rebuke us, and teach us your ways, O Lord. Then we are listening to your voice. Thank you in all of this, God. We receive, we believe, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Good evening po sa ating lahat. Welcome sa ating uh, online prayer meeting, Monday to Friday, 7 to 8. Ako si Pastor Roban and Jesus Comfy. Nandito na tayo sa Word and we are finishing on our series, Truly Saved. Napaka-importante nitong pag-aralan kasi it will give us more faith in the salvation that the Lord has given us. That once a believer has, rep- once a person received and believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, repented of his or her sins, that person is truly saved. Tunay po ang kaligtasan at sa pagkakaligtas ng Panginoon sa atin, may mga evidence or proof makikita yan. Nandyan yung new desires, andyan yung Holy Spirit. Naintindihan nyo? Review nyo po yan. Pakinggan yan sa ating online premiering replays para makita mo, wow, tunay nga na may kaligtasan ako. And tonight, ang pag-uusapan po natin, makikita sa atin lagi yung word na surrendered. Ayan, or surrender lagi sa Panginoon. Ang tunay po ng mga tumanggap ng kaligtasan, makikitaan ng pagsuko ng buhay niya sa Diyos. Alam nyo, napaka-importante na maunawaan natin na kapag tayo po ay binili, tinubos, sa isang napakamahal at walang makatutumbas na dakilang dugo ng Panginoon, ng ating Panginoong Jesus, tayo ngayon ay kaniyang pagmamayari. We now belong to our Lord Jesus Christ because He bought us. He redeemed us by the blood. Alam niyo, napaka-importante nito na dapat tayo ay isuko natin ang ating sarili sa Diyos. Surrender. The question is, are you really surrendered to God? Sinurrender mo na ba sa Diyos ang buhay mo? And living a life that is always surrendered to God, makikita yan. Yung evidence, yung fruit sa atin in our decision making, in how we trust the Lord when everything is, when we are facing challenges, when everything is not going well with our life, when we are surrendered to God, we trust Him. Kaya alam niyo po, sabi ng, ng uh, dictionary, the meaning of surrender is to cease resistance to an enemy or opponent and submit to their authority. On the word surrender, dictionary says, you cease resistance to an enemy. So, it's a negative word for during a war, battles. Kapag nakikipaglaban, yung word na surrender, ah, I, I don't want to surrender. I don't want to, to cease on fighting. I want to win. I don't want to submit. Lahat po ng tao, ganyan. Gusto natin tayo masusunod eh. Yes? Yung mga anak namin dito, lagi pong nagkakagulo, apat na lalaki. Laging nagkakagulo, nag-aaway, sumbong dito, sumbong dyan, bahay namin, parang barangay, hall, <laughs> nagsusumbong dito. Laging nag-aagawan ng cellphone, ng remote control, kahit na nga sa pagkukulay, nag-aagawan sila sa crayons nila, nag-aagawan sa mga gamit, sa lapis, because they want to be the one who is always in authority. And that's what people are. We want to be uh, obeyed, we want to be on top, we want to be the authority in our life. Pero ang word na surrender, sabi ni Merriam Webster, it's to yield to the power, to yield to control, to the control or possession of another 
upon compulsion or demand. Kapag tayo po ay tumanggap na kay Jesus bilang Panginoon Tagapagligtas, nagkakaroon tayo ng new master. Before our life, we are the masters of our own. Tayo yung nasusunod sa ating sarili. But when we are born again, when we receive Christ in our lives, kaya nga you receive Him as your Lord. Lord means master. You have a new master in your life. Amen? Can you say to the person beside you, you have a new master. You have a new Lord. Because in this world, there are many lords. Yan. Landlords, gambling lords. <laughs> Alam nyo, to give to give oneself up into the power of another, especially as a prisoner. We are giving our life to the Lord of Lords, to the King of Kings, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And in life, ano po ba yung mga dapat nating tandaan na maging buhay natin, maging lifestyle natin, bilang mga Kristiyano, makikita yan. Number one, You surrender to His plans. You surrender to His plans. Sabi ng Proverbs 21, 19-21, chapter 19, verse 21, sa New Century Version, People can make all kinds of plans, but only the Lord's plan will happen. Number one, surrender to His plans. You have plans for your family, for yourself, for your children. You have plans for what you want to do for this year, next year. You have plans on how you will spend your money. You have plans on your marriage. You have plans for entering a business. But you know, when you receive Christ as your master, as your Lord, one evidence of true salvation that we receive is we surrender all our plans to His plans. Yung plano niya lagi yung nasusunod. Yes, we plan. Yes, we we want things. We want to do this. We want to do that. But when you became a Christian, when you make Jesus the Lord of your life, you surrender to His plans. Isn't that wonderful that nakita niyo yun sa sarili niyo? Na sa buhay mo, wow Lord, dati may gusto kong gawin eh. Ito yung plano ko. Di ba? There are people watching, students, you want to do this in life. You want this career, you want this course. But you know, when you, when you surrender your life to Jesus, you also surrender your plans to Him. Alam niyo, mga sa buhay natin, may kanya-kanya tayong gustong gawin, eh, mga plano natin. Pero dahil nga isinuko na natin ang buhay natin sa Diyos, pati plano niya, yun na yun ang ating nanaisin. Ito yung binasa natin sa Isaiah 45, to 12 yung potik, yung clay pot. Does a clay pot argue with its maker? Kaya sabi niya, what sorrow awaits those who argue with their creator? Does the clay pot dispute with the one who shapes it? Saying, stop, you're doing it wrong. Does the pot exclaim, how clumsy can you be? We don't do that. We don't say that. We just surrender to the plan of our Maker because we are His. He created us and whatever He wants in our life, we trust Him. He said in His Word that His plans for us is for our good, not to harm us, but to prosper us and give us a future. Sabi niya sa verse 10, How terrible it would be if a newborn baby said to its father, Why I was born? Ba't ba ako pinanganak? Or it's to its mother, why did you make me this way? Natanong nyo na po ba yun? <laughs> sa nanay nyo, Nay, bakit ba gano, pinanganak akong ganito? Bakit ba ako lumabas pa sa mundo na ito? Hindi eh, di ba? Parang, kung titingnan natin, kailangan sabi rito sa verse 11, ito yung sinabi ng Diyos. This is what the Lord says to those who argue, to those who question the plans of God in our life. This is what the Lord says, the Holy One of Israel and your Creator. Do you question what I do for my children? 
Do you give me orders about, about the works of my hands? I am the one who made the earth and created people to live on it. And with my hands, I stretched out the heavens. All the stars are at my command. Pinakita lang ng Panginoon kung gano'n siya ka-powerful. Kung ikikwestiyon natin ang mga plano ng Diyos, ang sasabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon, ako gumawa ng mundo eh, may tanong ka. <laughs> How can you question me that I created people? I'm the one who created you. Yung langit, ako gumawa niyan, yung mga stars. How great our God is. How omniscient and omnipotent our God. And then how dare us we question His plans. That's why when you got born again, you surrender to His plan. Now Lord, you are powerful. You have given me eternal life. And now I surrender to your plans. Number two, surrender to His ways. You surrender to His ways. God has a plan for our life. But For that plan to happen, it's not a straight road. It's not a smooth sail. It's not a bed of roses. It's not a sugar and spice. God has His own ways. We want a straight line to the goal, yes? Gusto natin mabilis. We want to reach our goal on a straight line. But God's ways are like this. Oh, That's why you have to understand we need to surrender to His ways. And how can we surrender to the ways of the Lord? In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, sabi niya, Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. By testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For us to surrender to His ways is we must learn how to live according to His ways. And how can that happen? By studying and reading the Word of God. Mahirap po kasing maunawaan ang pamamaraan ng Diyos sa ating natural na pag-iisip, sa sistema ng mundong ito. Pero kailangan natin isuko ang ating buhay. Eh. Kung ikaw ay talagang naligtas yung mindset natin, the way of thinking, dapat iba na rin. Hindi na sa pamamaraan ng mundong ito, kapatid. Parehas pa rin pa ba tayo mag-isip sa mundong ito? Parehas pa ba yung ating pamamaraan sa mundong ito? Sabi niya, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. For us to To, be, to easily surrender our, to the ways of God, our ways, to His ways, we must be renewed in our mind. Kasi yung isipan natin, sistema ng mundo talaga. Eh. Dito papasok yung pagbabasa ng Bible, dito papasok yung pakikinig ng salita, araw-araw na pag-aaral ng salita. Sabi niya, if your mind is renewed, that by testing, you may discern. What is the will of God? What is the will of God? What is God's ways? What is good and acceptable and perfect? Kaya alam niyo po, bilang mga mananang palataya, isang sign, isang fruit ng tayo ay tunay nga na may kaligtasan is pagsuko ng ating mga plano sa plano ng Diyos. Pangalawa, ay pagsuko ng ating sariling pamamaraan sa pamamaraan ng Diyos. Totoo yan eh, may kanya-kanya po tayo tinatawag na diskarte. Eh, di ba? Ah, para marating ko ang plano ng Diyos, eto diskarte ko. But you know, God doesn't work that way. When God gave the promise to Abraham, sabi ni God kay Abraham, Abraham, I will give you a son. Paso si Abraham, he was an old man. Her wife is barren, old too. Tanda na. Kaya sabi na ni, ni, Abraham, ni Sarah kay Abraham, Abraham, matanda na tayo parehas. Pero sabi ng Lord, bibigyan niya tayo ng anak. He promised that God will give us a son. But we're too old for that. What Sarah did, she gave Hagar to Abraham. Si Abraham naman, sige, tutulungan na natin ang Diyos. 
Dahil hindi ka magkaanak, Sara, kay Hagar na lang ako magkakaanak. Magkakaanak din tayo ng lalaki. But you know, it's not God's ways. It's not God's way. Because God promised Abraham a son, and that promised son is Isaac. Minsan, para bang dahil sa pagkainip natin, pinipilit natin, tinutulungan na natin ng Diyos, Lord, sabi mo magpo-provide ka, sige Lord, maungutang na lang ako. Diba? Lord, sabi mo, pinangako mo to, bibilihin ko to. Sige, Lord, eh, ikakaskas ko na lang sa credit card. Minsan, may mga ganun tayong pamamaraan eh. But you know, when you are a believer, when you got born again, you your heart is always surrendered to His ways. You wait on God. You learn to wait on the Lord. And you need to accept this verse, Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 9. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 to 9. Sabi ng Lord, My thoughts are not like your thoughts. Your ways are not like my ways. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Napakasarap nito sa buhay napaka uh, nagpapalakas ito sa buhay natin kapag natutunan nating isuko ang lahat sa pamamaraan ng Diyos. And I can go back and give you a lot of testimonies para hindi ka mabuhay sa, you will not live a stressful life. You surrendered everything to God's way. Huwag mong ipilit. Huwag kang maging mas magaling sa Diyos. Huwag mong sabihin na kaya ko na to Lord, tutulungan na lang kita. No? Marami sa atin, nagkakagulo, nahihirapan tayo, napapahamak tayo, kasi pinipilit natin sa paraan natin. Eh. Tama po ba? But you know, when you surrender your life to God, surrender to His plan, surrender to His ways, you will not live a stressful life. Hindi ka may stress sa buhay kasi alam mo, kumikilos ang Diyos ko. At kailangan ko lang magpasakop sa pamamaraan niya. You know, the church, it, it, is, it is hard for us as pastors, spiritual leaders, to, to, to make decisions on our own. We always need God to make great decisions for the church, for our family. Isang ang pagkakataon nung pinapaalis na tayo sa lugar na kung saan doon tayo nagtitipon, di ba? Sabi namin, Lord, bakit kami pinapaalis? Lord, church to eh. Gawain mo to. Tapos bigla kaming aalis. It was March 2020 nung nakaalis na tayo dun. Kaya pala tayo pinaalis ng Panginoon sa lugar na yon. Meron pala siyang gagawin na hindi natin alam. May mangyayari pala na hindi natin alam. Iniwas tayo ng Panginoon sa isang stressful situation. Iniwas tayo ng Panginoon sa isang event na ikapapahamak at mabibigatan lang tayo. And that is the time of pandemic. Dumating yung pandemic, di ba? O, oh, nagtatanong tayo, Lord, kala ko ba tuloy-tuloy ang kontrata? Pumayag na eh. Tapos biglang January, kailangan na kami umalis. February, kailangan malinis ng lahat. But you know, we always trust God. Lord, alam namin, kung wala kami makitang lugar, eh may gagawin ka. Eh, wala nga makita. Yun pala, may mangyayari. Hindi na pwede mag-gathering. Iniiwas tayo ng Lord sa mga bagay na mabibigatan tayo. We just need to surrender to His ways. Surrender to His plan. May plan mo kasi ang Diyos eh. Ayun, that's a life of a believer na hindi natin pinipilit. Kasi pag pinilit mo, naku, mahihirapan ka lang. Magiging mapakla. Mapait ang buhay. Tayo rin ang nahihirapan. Pag... Di ba si... Balik tayo kay Abraham. Nag-aaway na ngayon si... Nag-aaway na ngayon si Abraham. At si Sarah nagkakaselosan na. Si Isaac at si Ismail kasi pinilit nila eh. Pero kung naghintay sila sa Panginoon, di ba? Kaya alam nyo, bilang... One, two, sound. Kaya bilang mga mananampalataya, isang, isang ebidensya yan na Lord, lagi tayong papasakop sa Diyos. 
sa pamamaraan. May ginagawa ang Diyos. Maaring hindi natin nauunawaan ngayon. Pero sa mga susunod ng panahon, mauunawaan din natin. Amen? You surrender to His plans. Yung plano niya matutupad. But you need to surrender also to His ways. Iniwas tayo ni Lord na nagbabayad tayo ng upa, pero hindi naman natin nagagamit. Di ba? Alam mo, dahil dun sa pandemic na yun, nakaipon pa nga yung church. Sipin mo yun, kung pinilit natin, ah, baon tayo sa utang. Nagbabayad tayo, pero hindi natin nagagamit. Nahihirapan tayo. Pero dahil dun sa pagpapasuko natin ng ating kalooban, ng pamamara sa pamamaraan ng Diyos, Lord, sige, bahala ka na po. Nakaipon pa tayo at narito na nga tayo. Itinatayo na yung building ng Panginoon. I- imagine mo yun. And that is being surrendered to God because His thoughts are not our thoughts. Kapag tumingin ka sa langit, makita mo taas, di mo maabot, di ba? Ganun din, hindi natin kayang arukin. Hindi natin kayang abutin yung isipan ng Diyos eh. And yung point na hindi mo kayang abutin yung langit, ibig sabihin, mas magaling ang Diyos sa atin. Di ba? Lagi tayo nagpapasakop sa mas magaling. Kapag may sakit ka, nagpupunta ka saan? Sa mas, sa mas magaling. Pag may mga hindi ka alam, kanino ka nagtatanong? Sa mas magaling. Bakit pagpatungkol sa Diyos? Sa pamamaraan niya, lagi natin siyang kinu-question. You know, when you receive Christ in your life, you live a life that is surrendered. Lord, kung ano po yung nais mo sa buhay ko, dahil yung pamamaraan mo ay higit na mas mataas, mas maganda, mas magaling ka sa akin. Kaya nga hindi mo siya ikakwestiyon eh, dun sa mga ginagawa niya sa buhay mo. Kundi, you live a life of surrender. And last is surrender to His will. Surrender to His plans. Surrender to His ways. Surrender to His will. It will is, it speaks of what we want and what God wants in our life. Minsan tayo, may mga gusto talaga tayo. May mga nais tayo sa buhay natin. Meron tayong ayaw, meron tayong gusto. Naalala ko tuloy yung ating Panginoong Jesus. Anong sabi niya sa Luke chapter 22 verse 42? Sabi niya, Ama, if you are willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Alam mo, yung si Jesus, di ba? Sino ba naman ang gustong mahirapan? Sino ba naman ang gustong masaktan? Ayaw natin yan. Suffering? Sino nag-pray dito? Lord, give me suffering. <laughs> wala naman eh. Lord, give me problems. Di ba? Wala eh. Pero sabi niya, Yet I want your will to be done and not mine. Not mine, Father, but your will is what we want. Alam mo kapag tayo po ay tinubos, tayo nga ay may buhay ng walang hanggan, hindi na natin pagmamay-ari ang ating sarili. We have a new master. We have a new Lord. And what the Lord wills, we must follow. It's a surrendered life. Lord, hindi mo gusto to. Hindi mo gusto siya. Ayaw mo nito. So ayaw ko rin ito. Kung hindi mo gusto, Lord, ayoko na rin nun. And that is what surrender to His will means. It's being submitted. It's being surrendered to God. Naalala niyo yung Proverbs chapter 3, 5 to 6. Basahin natin siya sa New Living Translation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will. In all that you do, and He will show you which path to take. Trusting God and surrendering to God complements each other. We cannot surrender to God if we do not trust God. Hindi ka pwedeng sabi mo you are surrendered to God pero hindi ka nagtitiwala sa kanya. 
first is that, is that you need to trust Him. Kung paano ka niyang iniligtas, nagtiwala ka sa buhay mo, pinagkatiwala mo sa Panginoon. At dahil pinagkatiwala mo sa Panginoon, kapatid, you seek His will. Lord, ano po ba gusto mo sa buhay ko? Sabi niya, seek His will in all you do. May mga gusto tayo. Eh. Lord, gusto ko sa trabaho na to eh. Ayoko na, umali, ayoko na rito. Gusto ko na umalis sa kumpanya na to Lord. But you know, you always seek God in all you do. At kapag sinabi ni Lord, magstay ka. Magstay ka. Kapag sinabi ni Lord, umalis ka na. Umalis ka na. Kasi kapag sum, sumusunod ka doon sa sinasabi niya, kapatid, and He will show you which path to take. Marami sa atin, nasa sitwasyon ngayon tayo na hindi natin alam ang gagawin natin. Lord, saan nga ba ako pupunta? Eh kasi pinilit mo mag pumunta dyan. Hindi naman sinasabi ng Lord na mag-resign ka. Hindi naman sinasabi ni Lord na pumasok ka dyan, pero pinasok mo, umalis ka doon, at hindi mo na ngayon alam ang gagawin. This is critical for believers to surrender to the will of God, to trust God with your life kahit mahirap. Kahit parang ang hirap na hirap na Lord, gusto ko nang umalis. Pero pag sinabi ni Lord, magstay ka, magstay ka lang. Kasi pag pinilit mo yung pamamaraan mo, kapatid, tandaan mo, lakas mo, magbibigay sa iyo nung isusustain ka ng sarili mo. At alam natin that we cannot sustain ourselves. Without God, we are nothing. Kaya alam mo, napakaganda, napakaganda to live a surrendered life. Even the Lord Jesus Christ giving us a pattern, how can we live a victorious life? Anong prayer niya sa Matthew 6 verse 10? May your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Nasang sitwasyon ka ngayon? Are you living a surrendered life? Because a surrendered life is one proof of being a true child of God. Like our Lord Jesus, He knows that His Father can do anything. He wants to take away the cup of suffering. Pero ang sabi niya, Lord, Father, not my will, but Your will be done. Sa buhay natin ngayon, maaring tayo pa rin ang Lord ng buhay natin. Maybe you're saying Kristiyano ka pero hindi ka naman sumusunod sa Lord natin. Hindi yun, hindi yun pwede. Hindi yun ang tunay na bunga ng tunay na kaligtasan. When we are saved, we are we have a new master in life. We have a new Lord. Hindi na tayo Lord. Kaya nga ang prayer natin, Lord Jesus, tinatanggap kita sa buhay ko bilang Panginoon. Become my master. Be my king. And maybe you're listening tonight and say, oh nga, no? plano ko pa rin na susunod. Gusto ko pa rin what I want in my life. What my plans are. I want my plans. I want my will. I want my way. That's not what God wants you. Hindi yan ang gusto ng Panginoon sa buhay God wants you to surrender. Maring in the world, surrender is a negative word. But to God, it's a beautiful word. Because when you surrender to the one who is so great and mighty, to the one who is good and powerful, you can be secure. You can live a life that is you will experience total security in life when you put your life to the hands of the Almighty God. Surrender. Join me in this prayer to surrender our lives to God. If you're that person, sinasayo, Lord, gusto ko po isuko ang buhay ko sa'yo. Gusto ko magtiwala, mas maganda ang plano mo. Your ways are greater. Your ways are higher. Your will be done. I want you to join me in this prayer. From your heart, sabihin natin, Panginoong Jesus, say that, Lord Jesus, I need you in my life. I surrender my life to you, Lord. 
I receive you into my heart. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Patawarin niyo po ako sa mga kasalanan. I repent of my sins. Forgive me. Patawarin niyo. Pinagsisisi. giving us. Thank you for blessing us, giving us a fresh start, a new beginning. Maraming salamat tonight, God. We are giving you praise and glory. And help us to live a life that is surrendered. Surrendered to your plans, to your ways, surrendered to your will. And Father, we cannot do this alone by ourselves. By our own strength, we will fail. But we can because of the power of the Holy Spirit the power of your grace. Thank you, Lord. We receive eternal life. We receive salvation. We receive your forgiveness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Kapatid, kung sumabay ka sa panalangin natin, congratulations kasi pinatawad ka na ni Lord. Tonight, God has given you a fresh start, a new beginning. God has forgiven you. Right now, you have a new master. Surrender to his plans. His plans are greater than our plans. His plans are the best. Surrender to his ways. His ways are always higher than our ways. Surrender to his will. What God wants for your life, surrender. And you can see, you will live a life that is victorious. Amen. <laughs> sa mga kapatid natin joining us tonight in one more time. Salamat sa Diyos. Magpe-pray tayo isang beses pa. Close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for speaking to us and through us, God. Thank you for illuminating your word. Thank you for the understanding and the wisdom and knowledge. Help us, empower us by your Holy Spirit to live a life that is surrendered. Let us trust you. Seek your will in all that we do and you will show us which path to take. There are people watching and listening who are living a life full of confusion. No direction, no meaning and no purpose. Lord, show your way to that person. Reveal yourself, God, to this person right now. In the name of Jesus, let that person experience your love through our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God, we are asking prayers for healing, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physical healing. Those who are afflicted physically, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, those who uh, will undergo medical operations, Recovering, Lord, in the ICUs, in the bedrooms, Lord, in the hospital beds. Lord God, I pray for your mighty healing. In the name of Jesus, we declare your word by your stripes. We are healed and we receive that promise of healing. You sent your word and it healed us of all our diseases. That's why we receive your word in our life. We are healed. Spirit, soul, and body, we are healed. Health is restored into us. Lord, thank you for strength in every area of our life. Maraming salamat po, Lord, and let us continue to grow in our life as we continue to grow spiritually. Let the light of Jesus shine to us and through us. Let, it, let us uh, see physical evidence of maturity, of growth, of transformation. 
change life by the power of your spirit and grace. Thank you, Lord, for healing, for change, for a life that is surrendered to you. Thank you. We trust your plans. We trust your will. And we trust that your ways are always for our good. Thank you, Father, and all of these blessings we receive and believe in Jesus' name. joining us at in prayer receive the answer agree with amen hallelujah thank you sa mga nag-share sa ating uh, online prayer meetings sa ating mga digital evangelists sa mga nag-like and follow sa Facebook page kung hindi nyo pa na-like and follow mag-like tayo mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube para lagi tayo updated sa mga bagong posts awitin sa mga bagong schedules natin sa mga events natin at mga gatherings Salamat sa mga nakasama natin hanggang ngayon, no? Salamat sa buhay ninyo. Kita-kita tayo sa Sunday. Ayan, June 4, para sa ating physical gathering. Puri ng Panginoon. Kung na-bless ka sa ministry na ito, sa mensahe ng Panginoon, in-encourage ka namin to join us sa ating Operation Bangon. At pili ka ng ticket natin. Ayan. Yung ticket natin, 50 pesos yan. Pampatayo to ng building, pangdagdag sa pagpapatay ng building. 50 pesos to, pwede kang manalo ng groceries, 25 kilos of rice, staycation sa Tagaytay, ganun din overnight stay sa Wingford, Manila with breakfast. Diba? Nakapagbigay ka na, may chance ka pang manalo. At draw ito sa August 27. Kaya, salamat sa Panginoon. More giving, more chances of winning. Ay, grabe si Lord. Salamat sa buhay ninyo. Sa mga kapatid natin in advance, sa mga magbibigay. Salamat sa buhay ninyo. Available yan sa June 4. Makakuha nyo na yung tickets nyo. Salamat sa Panginoon. At kanina po, sumabay pa sa ating prayer. Humingi na ba tayo ng tawad sa Diyos? Pinagsisiyan na ba natin ang mga kasalanan natin? Congratulations. Kasi meron na kayong buhay na walang hanggan. Salamat sa Panginoon kasi anak ka na ng Diyos. Pinatawad ka na niya. Suko mo yung sarili mo sa Panginoon, sa plano, sa kalooban, sa kanyang pamamaraan. Sabay-sabay tayo. Sabihin natin. I am a child of the Most High God. I am blessed. I am full of wisdom, full of power, full of potential. I can do all things. I will overcome. I have a great destiny in Christ. I believe it. I receive it. In Jesus' name, Amen. To go more powers in you, Messiah, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Please, when I'm announced, but join us at the OPM online prayer meeting Mondays, Fridays, seven to eight. Our special ban Jesus coffee. Bukas abang natin si Brother Yu just kidding. Thank you, Lord. Nakita naman natin Friday OPM, Brother Jonard Oleta. Sunday, mga kapatid, ah, kita-kita tayo. Yung mga mag-away po ng ating uh, fundraising tickets, ayan, i-message, i-PM lang kami. At uh, pwede naman Gcash, pwede kami din yung magsulat sa inyo at tumanggap ng price at ibibigay namin sa inyo pag napulot kayo. God bless you. Have a great night. See you again.